Um, I know, Chair O'Brien, you said that we should let the presentation go on, and of course, uh, generally I agree, but I also, there's a part of me that doesn't entirely agree because it seems meaningless to me to go through a presentation that has slides like, that are titled, Seattle is an award-winning bike city. Data shows more people are re riding bikes. Progress in building a completed bike network. It seems meaningless to me and sort of tone deaf and out of touch to go through a presentation. I mean, obviously you will go through the presentation and I won't stop you, but my point is that it's, it's strange for the mayor to uh, send you all for this kind of presentation at the same time that uh, the mayor's office and the uh, SDOT leadership has dealt a blow, a significant blow to the whole plan of, <laughs> of addressing climate change. And also as uh, the speaker who, who um, made a very poignant remark about how her identification was not accepted because she didn't have a driver's license, as she pointed out, uh, this is actually, it, it's about uh, the question of carbon emissions in this region, but also about the rights of people who walk, people who bike, people who need to use wheelchairs, and people who use or need to use public transit. And I think uh, the mayor's office is being tone deaf also to the, the whole spectrum of community members who are fighting for a city, uh, Seattle to be a uh, bicyclist safe and pedestrian safe city. It's working class people, even just today's uh, public testimony shows that working class people, middle class people, families with little children, uh, elderly individuals, community members, uh, all of them have spoken. And so I don't really understand when the mayor's press release says it's about community engagement, it's about public feedback. Well, whose feedback are you actually listening to uh, is the question. And, uh, and, 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 I, and I will say this too in, in support of the speakers who said, said this al already, is that the Moose Seattle levy is one of the many, many examples of where working and middle class people have shown their willingness again and again to tax themselves in a city with the most regressive tax system in the entire nation in order to do the right thing. And so after having repealed the Amazon tax, the least the mayor's office could do is not deal a blow to you know, tax uh, monies uh, being used for doing the right thing. And these are tax revenues that are being generated from working people's limited incomes. And uh, the mayor's, mayor's uh, press release um, or, or whatever the email that was sent out, I think this is the actual press release. It's a very long press release. And it has lots of nice words. It says, we have heard consistently that safety along this corridor is the neighborhood's number one priority. But clearly you're not, this, this move is not an example of prioritizing safety of pedestrians and bicyclists. And so, um, I mean, as you go through the presentation today, that's fine, but honestly, uh, my question is much more fundamental, is what are you actually going to do to reinstate this work and, and stop being anachronistic and behind the times and listening to, uh, when you say community feedback, really what the mayor is listening to is business owners and not ordinary people. And in fact, some of them are business owners themselves who support the bike master plan. Uh, and the last thing I'll say is that uh, for, for those of you all who are fighting for the city to be a pedestrian and bike, bicyclist friendly city and for Vision Zero and for the bicycle master plan, please always know that uh, my office is strongly on your side in, in solidarity with you and please let us know what we can do to help build the fight back because honestly this will have to be a fight back because the mayor has chosen to ignore us all and do what she has done uh, and we, we, we need to fight back. And I also want to do apologize in advance. I have to deal with another emergency in, 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 in a, on a personal front so I will have to leave at 3.30. Thank you, Councilmember. All right. <laughs> I, 